Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our fluency lesson, we are going to work on three activities. So let's look at our I can statements for them. So the first one is I can find the product in an array. So you're going to be looking at an array and you're going to be telling me the product of what it's showing. The second learning goal says I can determine the number of square units in a rectangle. So I'm going to show you a picture of a rectangle. You're going to count and tell me how many square units there are. And then our final one is I can skip count by sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. So we're going to be reviewing our skip counting again. So let's jump in and get started with talking about arrays again. So I'll show you an array and you will describe the array by telling me how many rows and how many in each row and finding the product of the array. So here we go. So here's my array. How many rows are there, friends? Five. How many are in each row? Three. Great job. So what is our multiplication sentence to match this array? What's the product? Five times three equals 15. So the product is 15. Now to describe this array, technically it's five times three because the first factor is the number of groups or rows and how many are in each one is the second factor. Now, because of the commutative property, you could solve this as three times five. That's absolutely fine, okay? So let's look at our next one. Here's our next array. What's the product? Think to yourself in your head, how many rows are there? How many are in each row? And then tell me the product. Yeah, four times six, 24 is our product because there are four rows with six in each row. You could also do six times four. Whichever way you feel more comfortable is fine. All right, so here's my next one. Oh, smiley faces. Doesn't this one just make you happy? It makes me happy. Okay, so think about how many rows are there and how many are in each row. When I look at this, I see seven rows with three in each row. So that tells me that I'm going to do seven times three. What's the product, friends? 21, seven times three equals 21. Oh, don't you just love this array? You get it, friends? Love, because it's hearts. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Okay, so look at this array. Look at how many groups there are, or how many rows there are, and how many are in each row. And then let's think about what the product is. So when I look at this, I see five rows with eight in each row. So that tells me my multiplication problem is five times eight. So friends, what's the product of five times eight? 40, five times eight equals 40. Awesome job with using arrays, friend. Okay, now we're gonna jump into counting square units. So this is what we've just been working on in the module. So I'm gonna show you a rectangle and you're gonna say how many square units are in the rectangle. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Then I'm gonna show you another rectangle and maybe two or maybe three. Hint, I'm probably gonna show you four. <laughs> and then you're gonna be able to compare those rectangles and tell me how they are similar to each other. Okay, so here's your first one. How many square units are in this array or in this rectangle? Yeah, there's eight square units. Okay, you can count them. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now how many square units are in this array? Or, sorry, this rectangle. I have arrays on the brain from our last activity. So how many square units are in this rectangle? Yeah, again, still eight square units. What do you notice about those two rectangles that you see right there? Do they look the same? No, but what is the same about them? Yeah, they both have eight square units. Okay, Whew. all right, take a look at this one. How many square units are in this rectangle? Yeah, eight square units. Oh my goodness, another one. So I have three different rectangles, but they all have the same number of square units. Interesting. Okay, let's look at this one. How many square units are in this rectangle? 
Again, yes, eight. So, friends, when I look at this, I see four different rectangles. But out of these four different rectangles, they all have the same number of square units. So when I look at this, I think to myself, well, oh, that's pretty cool that there can be something that's not exactly the same shape, but it still can have the same area or square units. Pretty cool. Let's look at another set. So how many square units are in this rectangle? Twelve, twelve square units. Okay. How many square units are in this rectangle? Still twelve square units. How many square units are in this rectangle? Still twelve. Okay. How many are in this rectangle? Twelve square units. You guys are right. So what do we notice about all of these rectangles and the number of square units? Yeah, you're right. They're all still four totally different rectangles, but they still have the same number of square units. Pretty cool, right? So the um, the shape can be a little bit deceiving and not always, you might not look at that right away and say, oh, that's the same number of square units. But different size objects or different um, types of rectangles can still have the same area. Pretty cool. All right, so good job with that activity, friends. Now let's go into our skip counting. Again, we're going to practice skip counting together. Thumbs up means we're counting up. Our fist means we're stopping. And our thumbs down means we're counting down. Okay, we're going to start with sixes. Let's get ready to count up. So here we go. Six, 12, 18, 24, 32. I'm sorry, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. We're going to count down. So 54, 48, 42, 36. Stop. Counting up. 42, 48, 54, 60. Rock on, friends. Good job with your skip counting with sixes. Let's go to our sevens. We're going to count all the way to 70. Remember, every time that you're saying and skip counting a number, you need to put up a thumb. So if I were doing this and I go six, 12, I'm sorry, we're counting by seven. So if I were to go seven, 14, 21, if I were to stop there, I would know that it's seven times three because I skip counted three times by seven. So that's seven times three. Okay. All right. So here we go. Counting up seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Counting down, 63, oh, sorry, 63, 56, 49, 42, stop, count up, 49, 56, 63, 70. Awesome job, friends. Let's jump into our eights. Here we go, counting by eights all the way to 80. Think we can do it? I know we can do it. Here we go. So we're counting up, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Let's count down. 72, 64, 56, 48, 40, 32. Stop. Counting up. 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Rock on, friends, with that one. All right, let's end with skip counting by nines. Here we go. Counting up. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Counting down. 81, 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 27. Counting up. 36, 45, 
54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Fantastic job. You guys have rocked it. Okay, you guys did a great job. You really do rock with our using products, or sorry, products, <laughs> using arrays to find the products, counting square units and rectangles, and skip counting. You guys did an awesome job. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Thank you.